I've set up our next problem for us. 62 could be thought of as 60. Our first number, 6 is too small. 66 is fine. 62 will go into that. I'm just going to put a, just a little dot or a, a darken this so I know that my first answer goes over that 6. 6 goes into 6 one time. And I'm going to fill up my other areas with zeros, showing that it actually goes in 100 times. I'm going to multiply back my zeros, and 1 times 62 is 62. Subtract 3, I'm sorry, 4, 3, and 4, which goes to the next box. I'm going to bring the, three, the 434 up. 6 goes into 4. It is not. 6 goes into 43. Well, 7 times 6 is 42. Let's try a 7. And that would have to go over the last number because 30, uh, the, the larger of the numbers was the whole thing. 60 or 62 would not go into 4, would not go into 43. It will go into the 434. So our 7 goes above here. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry 1. And 7 times 6 is 42, and one more is 43. Oh my gosh, it turned out perfectly. So our answer is 107. If we were to see that with an expansion of the boxes, we would have to have four boxes because we have four digits and one number goes in each of the boxes. 60, we are going to think of it as 60 for our pit choosing. This time, 60 does not go into 6. We would have a 0 here multiplied back out we get a remainder of 6. That joins up to the 6 that's already in the, the second box. 6 goes into 6 one time. 1 times 62 is 62. Subtract. You're going to get a 4. That goes into the next box. 62 will not go into 60, or 43 at all. So there's another 0. 0 times 62 is 0. The subtraction gives us 43, which goes into the last box. 6 divides into 4. It does not. Into 43, yes, 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. Carry the 1. 7 times 6 is 42, and 1 more is 43. When the subtraction is done, it's all zeros. So our, an our answer is actually sitting right in front of us, 107, with no remainder. The problem came out evenly.